चक्षुरुन मिली तंजीना तस्मयि सिगुरवीना बंचा कल्पतरु भैष्या कृपासिंधु भयी वचा पतितानं पामने भ्यो बैष्णवे भ्यो नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्णा प्रेम प्रदायते Krishna ya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurati Se He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesa Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastu Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Bindavaneswari Vishabhanusute Devi Pranamam Vrindayai Tulsi Devyai Priyayai Kesamasya Krishna Bhakti Prade Devi Satyavattei Namo Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shivas Adi Shigova Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama First of all, I offer my Pushpanjali in the lotus feet of my Divine Master, Om Vishnu Pahasishma, Bhakti Pragyan Kishogur Swami Maharaj. And unto the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru, Nitta Lila Aprost, Om Vishnu Pahasishma, Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. And to all our disciplic acharjas from Krishna up to now, Pertama-tama saya ingin menyampaikan semua sujud kepada guru kerohanian saya tercinta. I told a very important slok, which I told by Bishwana Chakravarti Thakur, like 
essence of <coughs> our whole teachings from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and up to now. I want that the preachers, though, who preaches all these places, they should always remind this shloka, remember this shloka. Aradhyo Bhagavan Brijeshatanayas Tadham Brindavanam Ramya Kachitu Parsana Bajupadhu Bargain Jakalpita Srimad Bhagavatam Praman Amalam Prema Pumartho Maha Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamidam Tatra Dharunapara This is law. In this is law. Very brief, everything has come. Like Aradhu Bhagavan Braji Shatanaya, we see in India or everywhere. There are so many God and Goddesses. In India we see Ganesh, Lakshmi, Sun, Shakti, Durga, and Vishnu, prominent five, but there are <coughs> numerous God and Goddesses. All are worshipable. <coughs> but in Indian Vedic knowledge, from beginning in Vedas, in Purans, in Srimad Bhagavatam, especially in Gita, it has been taken the essence of all Vedas that there should be one Supreme Personality of Godhead. God means G-O-D. G, generator, O, operator, and D, destruction of all <coughs> universe. Huh? You, should, you should explain. In Bible we see only one God. In Quran Sharif we see only Khuda or Khuda or Allah. But in India we see there is no number at all of God and Goddesses. So some may be in confusion that uh, there should be one God. Why so, so many gods? So Vedas has told that there is no so many gods, only one God. In whole universe, in all countries, and in, in lakhs and lakhs universe, there must be one God. No so many gods. Then how to reconcile all these things? That told in India Gita we know that Krishna told that lakhs and lakhs years before I have told the Atma Gyan to Sun. In Vedas has been told that only one God. Then why so many Gods? <coughs> Kali, Durga, Shiva, Hanuman and all others so many. According to the 
स्टेजेस ऑफ जीवास शोज देर आर सेपरल क्लासेस वेर देर इज वनली वन क्लास इन एनी फेयर देन इट मीन्स दैट देर इज नो गुड स्टडी देयर दो इट मे बी वनली वन क्लास ऑफ पी एच डी और डी डिलीट और एनी वन एनी थिंग बट आई थिंक दैट ऑल आर नॉट क्वालिफाइड टू स्टडी इन वन क्लास पी एच डी एवरीवेयर देर आर सम सो मेनी क्लासेस सो इन वैदिक कल्चर वी सी देर आर देर आर नो सेवरल गॉड्स only one but what are they ganesh shankar and all others in gita in very short uh, words it has been told that they are all vibhuti vibhuti under one god <coughs> like in a country there is a president chief minister or prime minister prime minister <coughs> so many group of ministers so many officers so many top to bottom lakhs and lakhs in that government to control any country so to control all universe lakhs and lakhs there must be one god सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड एंड ऑल अदर्स विभूति हैविंग सम पावर फ्रॉम हिम एंड कोटेली ऑल अंडर देयर गॉड सो दिस इज लाइक सो मेनी क्लासेस फ्रॉम लोअर क्लास टू हाइस्ट क्लासेस इफ देयर इज वन क्लास देयर विल बी नो स्टडी फॉर ऑल क्लासेस ऑफ पर्सन so to do it perfect all these are stages so we should not disobey any of the gods semi gods hmm? don't disobey but you should see that all are not equal to the highest that is krishna name any be anything be in different languages no hot but when which the highest topic of three things g o d hmm? is situated in that person then we will think that he is the person supreme personality of godhead so india it has been decided by krishna himself in vedas also in mahabharat also at prefer but it wants some <coughs> qualif quality to know all these things how we we will know this who is supreme god it has been told that all living entity wants three things eh? where there is perfect sat chit and anand sat means we don't want to die we don't want to be old we don't want that we should have so many diseases and in the old days our teeth go eyes will be weak 
and thus we cannot take a glass of water and die. So anyone does not want to be, but they are bound to be like so. So those who never dies, eh, he is perfect and he makes us also not to die. Hmm? Always in same condition, hmm? in same shape, love and affection and everything perfect in that. So this is called Sat. Chit means knowledge. From boyhood, oh, what is this father? Mother, what is this? Hmm? Learning so much, learning so much. But we cannot be never perfect knowledge, we cannot gain. Where there is perfect knowledge, everything knowing how this world was created. Who nurses us in the womb of mother? Who gives this intelligence? intelligence? All things where there is a perfect knowledge, He is Supreme Personality. Where is the per perfect Sat, Sat means Satta. Entity. Entity. Never changes, nothing, always like in the same. Hmm? And we want all to be happy. To be happy is called Ananda. We have some uh, ananda, some happy in this world, in our family, if there is love and affection. But it is not perfect in any wing of whole world. Even not in goddesses. Sometimes they quarrel. Hmm? Sometimes so many problems for them. So all are not happy. Supreme must be happy and by Him happiness, pure happiness may come. So far there is perfect happiness that is called Ananda. To make also other Ananda man and Himself here. So far the Sat Chit Ananda, imperfect, in last stage extreme, he is called Supreme Personality, Supreme Personality of Godhead. All are Godhead, maybe. We are also some part of God, so we are, when we will gain some more knowledge, we can be called somewhat a part of God. Hmm? So Jeev has been called Brahma, no harm but not perfect. Where there is perfect, all these three things. Especially the six appellants. I will explain further. Huh? You should do. So, <coughs> where there is sat, cheat and Ananda. He is called Supreme Personality of Godhead. There are six kinds of affluent. It must be in full or fullest in that Personality of Godhead. And that is our first shape. He must have a beautiful shape among all shapes that all will be charmed. And if he has no shape, beautiful shape, then how he can create all these things? Like he is the seed of all, if there is not anything, potency in seed of all kinds of shapes, 
there must be all kinds of self in him, per head personality of Godhead. If there is no there, no shape, then he cannot create this world. So a beautiful shape. And that set be so much beautiful that it can charm all God, goddesses, all living creatures, everyone. And in that shape, if there is no shape, he cannot create. There is no potency of shapes in him, it seems. That if there is no potency of all these things, he cannot be accepted as God. Eh? Secondly, all kinds of virtues should be in him. In fullest, highest way. In extreme stage. In extreme. Everybody. What these are? First, knowledge. Sampurna Gyan. All kinds of knowledge are in the stream in that. Hmm? Secondly, all kinds of Aishwarya. Affluence. Affluence. He can be the smallest, Anurapi Aniyan Mahato Api Mahiyan. Biggest, largest. In, who, in which whole world is situated and in every parts of the world, very atom. In atom, more than atom, if there is, in that he is in full way. This is called Aishwarya. He can do anything that a man cannot do, a god cannot do. Goddess cannot do. Hmm? <coughs> Third, this shape. Fourth, Gyan, Vairag, uh, first, Aswarja, Aswarja, Samagrasya, Dirija. Who oh, should be very, very powerful. 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 To do anything. There are none like him. But Yes, uh, second less person. One without a second. One without a second. Eh? One without a second. second. Uh, his. God may be, so many gods are, they may be so powerful, but he must be most powerful. Hmm? He can control all. Hmm? And Vairagya, Vairagya means? Renounce. 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 If there is no renounce, then he will be like other, uh, our, uh, we. Yeah. Hmm? He will be attached anywhere. And he will cry for his father, mother, wife, and all others, his children. Hmm? So these are six appellants. And Jasa. Just means? Fame. Fame. Topmost fame should be there. Uh, None is like him, so much famous. His name is famous. His appellants are famous. All the qualities are famous. He is so merciful that no comparison at all. Causeless merciful. He has so much uh, affection and love for all, anyone cannot have. So all these appellants, qualities, shape, gyan, barag, all should be in highest stage, stage in that God. So if any of the, these six and these three is not found, an extreme, extreme, then he is not God. He may be God, but not Supreme Personality of God. Huh.
Kemudian yang kemudian yang This is why not only in Vedas and Indian script um, scripts also we see in Bible God created man after his own image means God has created man as he shape was so it seems that Bible admits this that Supreme Personality of God has, has shape, He has some wishes, He is so kind, so all attributes are there. Also we see in Bible, um, Quran. Quran Sharif, Muhammadans, that Anna Allaha Khalaka Men Surat He. It means that Khuda has created men as his shape is. So there is wish, there is shape, there are so many qualities, and everything is there. So all these the scriptures hmm, are like Vedas, somewhat different. But in this way, we see that everywhere it has been admitted that I told before that Krishna has shape, God has shape, so many attributes, six affluence, three satchid ananda, everything should be topest in that personality. Can I do? Can I do? This whole world, there is nothing without shape. Jadi, di seluruh dunia ini kita sudah melihat, tidak ada sesuatu pun tanpa bentuk. Water has shape, we see. But can you define that? What is that shape? Water has, science, scientists are telling, water has no shape, water has no color, water is tasteless, colorless. Why they are telling? We see the shape of water, we taste the water's taste, it has own its any taste. But any taste mixes is this worldly and it makes like that but it has its own taste own color but any color can come in that so we cannot define so we say like this so how we can define krishna eh, that he has so many shapes so many tests so many all attributes eh? so sometimes in Vedas or anywhere it has been told that he is a nirgun. Mm -hmm. But actually the meaning is not that. Nirgun means he has all the qualities, shapes and everything beyond aprakriti and beyond our knowledge and all other things. So he is nirgun, so he is shapeless there. But he has all shapes, all attributes above Maya. That is, it is said. Like water we cannot define, so why, how we can define Krishna or Supreme Personality of Godhead? We cannot define. Jadi seperti halnya, semua di dunia matri. Dan begitu juga, untuk memberikan kita, untuk menjangkau, untuk memberikan definisi secara konkret, jadi sebenarnya maksudnya, beliau mempunyai benar. Now, I'm coming that uh, in epics, in faiths, in Puran, in Srimad Bhagavatam, in Gita, what is the conception of what? Supreme Personality, Supreme personality of God. About 5,000 <coughs> years before. Uh, Baby came as the son of Vasudev and Devaki. No. Very beautiful, hmm. very beautiful son. Like clouds, his color. Hmm. His name was 
kept Krishna. Why Krishna? He can attract all the universe, all the souls, all creatures and living entity by his shape, by his attributes, by his affluence, by his everything. So he came when Vasudev and Devaki were given in jail in Mathura. There, in the night, he came at the son of Vasudev and Devaki, four-handed. Very beautiful shape and so many having four weapons, Shankha, Chakra, Gada, Padma. And at the same time, same moment, he took birth in Gokul as the son of Vars Deva uh, Nanda, Nanda and Jasuda. There he was two-handed, a baby, like a baby, quite naked, as a baby. And here in Mathura, four-handed, age about sixteen, very young, very powerful, the Carved hairs were hair. Carved, hair. carved and so long, long, having so ornaments. ornaments, golden ornaments, or chintamani ornaments, like Kostuf Mari and so many things, decorated with so many ornaments. And he speaking so much, he spoke with so much with her Devaki and Vasudev here. And they are like a baby, nothing. In two shapes, here and there. Not only this, this Krishna, afterward, in his past times, he became lakhs and lakhs with each gopi in Vrindavan. And he became lakhs and lakhs there in Dvarka, in 16,108 Krishna. So we are seeing so much affluence in that. And love and affection in but an extreme mm. Mm. love and affection. Mm. Love so that even deers, serpents, elephants, all others, Indra, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, all were attracted and controlled by him. So all these things, qualities, what I told, exist in Krishna. So our Vedas, Upanishad, and all the scriptures had admitted undoubtedly this fact, this truth, fundamental truth, the Krishna is but Supreme, Supreme, Supreme Personality of Godhead. In this shloka, it has been clearly written, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what is the opinion about this? So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's opinion, he is telling that, Aradhyo Bhagavan Braje Satanayas Taddhama Vrinda. Aradhyo Bhagavan Braje Satanaya. He has told the Supreme Personality of Godhead is Brajendranandan Shyam Sundar, that is the son of Nanda. He has not told the son of Vasudev Devaki. Why he has told like this? In Srimad Bhagavat, we can see if you have read the book of Swamiji explanation, Bhaktivedanta Swami. 
it has been clearly written in Srimad Bhagavad that he came from Vasudev and Devaki in Mathura first. But after that, Sukhdev Goswami has several times he has told son of Nanda, son of Jasoda, everywhere, not less than hundred times. Jasoda Nandana, Nanda Nandan. Yeah. So every so in this slok it is told that Brajandanandan Shyam Sundar. Why it has been told? Krishna from Mathura and Krishna in Vrindavan, uh, Gokul. They are same. No difference at all. In Bhagavatta, in the affluence, in everything. But there is some speciality in Prajandananda. Both they are same. By Tattva. But Krishna, Prajandananda, where he is telling that he has so much prem and affection, love and everything there. That is called Rasa. So much this affection and love in Krishna that is not so much in Devakinanda. Uh, Devakinanda. No? That is why he has been called Aradhyo Bhagavan Prajeshatanayaha. Swamiji has clearly written this. First he told like Srimad Bhagavatam, in, it is written by Parikshit Mara and Sukadeva Goswami. But after that, when Krishna is there in Vrindavan, he has undoubtedly told several times. <coughs> By appellance, he is here also, in Gokul also, in Golok Vrindavan also, in all universe, in lakhs and lakhs and cotis shapes. This is his appellant, as Swarja. But yet, that little boy comes of Gokul, who has taken birth in the omb of Jasoda Maya by Nanda Baba in Gokul. He is Aradhya. Now we will come on the point how and why he is called Supreme Personality of Godhead. You know that the Devakinandan, Krishna 400, was brought to Gokul and he mixed in the Jasodanandan and became one. Because he is one. Purnamadaha, Purnamidaha, Purnata Purnamu Dhuchyate, Purnasya Purnameva Adaya. So, when they were separated, even they were Purna. When they are mixing, even they are Purna. In any way, in all stages, Krishna is full. So, no, you know that He, the both mixed in Goku. One day, this little boy Krishna, quite naked, was playing in Brahmanda Ghat. Those who have gone with me in Braja, they know Brahmanda Ghat. Hmm? A very good, famous Ghat, bathing place of Gokul, on the river Jamuna. Hmm? Krishna was playing with so many boys, Dham, Siddham, Sudham, Basudham, Isto, Krishna, Lavanga, Arjun, so many, hundred and thousand of all naked. <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, uh, 
two days yo younger, four, four day, days, 15 days younger, one month, and somewhere elder. four days elder, 15 days elder, like Baldev Prabhu, 15 days older, or others. All were naked. They are playing here, there, with the sands of Jamuna, making walls and rooms by sands, sometimes one, one breaking, sometimes playing, sometimes struggling, wrestling, and doing all. Hide, playing the play of hiding and seek. At last, all boys became in one group with Baldev Prabhu, and Krishna was in, only alone in one party. And all were clapping laughing. and laughing boys, eh? making so much clapping to Krishna, joking. joking. Fun that uh, from where you came? Because your mother is golden color. Your father is golden color. But among them, how you came this black? black. <laughs> <laughs> so all were clapping. Krishna was not understanding why they are clapping and laughing so much. He began to ask why you are clapping and laughing. Then Madhuman Madhumangal came forward and told, oh, I should say that you are not the son of really the son of Basu, eh, Nand and Jasuda. Why not? Proof? Proof is that that you are black, your father and mother are golden color. <laughs> so you are not the son. Then saw Krishna, oh, I am black. <laughs> <laughs> And began to do. <laughs> and he left the playing with the boys and he ran to his home, to Jasoda Mother. But now he was so much weeping. He has so much pain here that I am not uh, the son of my mother. And they are telling with proof that I am black and they are golden. golden. So all boys were clapping, also following and coming, like do like like this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what? Making joke. Making joke. Making joke. Yeah. So please, Krishna came to his mother and began to weep so bitterly, falling down on the courtyard. <laughs> hmm? And not today, mother, mother. <laughs> Only weeping, weeping, weeping. Yeah. Jasoda came and tried to take Krishna in his lap. But Krishna today was so angry and weeping that he used to come down from the lap like this. <laughs> no? Slipping. Yeah. Like slipper. Slip. Yeah. Slipper. Sliding. Like. Sliding. Hmm? Sliding. And he was more and more loudly and loudly, crying. louder, louder, crying and weeping. Just so that, told them, why my son, why you are weeping? And began to do like this. Don't weep. Tell me what is the fact, why you are weeping? At last, when he became some remedy, then he began to tell, that uh, I am not your son, so I am now going to forest anywhere. <laughs> Why you are telling so? All boys are clapping and telling. <laughs> Even Baldev, Dau Bhaiya, <laughs> my brother, elder brother, is telling like so and clapping, so I am not your son. They are telling that any other person any other mother has yielded you, and it has, you have been kept in a tree 
took the oath of narayan and on his own head that i'm telling you by the oath of narayan i'm touching narayan and tulasi you have come mm. from my own om and all brijbashi are evidence for this <laughs> witness for this they have seen so i cannot tell lie the boys can tell lie only to Tease you. joke you yes yeah. hmm. but i am telling you by oath that you are my son and he took any how and gave his breath yes. and then krishna was somewhat satisfied mm-hmm. so how he has affection and skill of charming all hmm. so vedas has told that krishna is supreme personality in gita krishna has himself told uh kya nannat matta parataram nannat kisanti asti dhan vedais sarvam aham eva vidya sarva dharman parityajyamam we will explain all these things very little little and very beautiful stories and explain that how much siddhant are in this today is now going to be eight he should explain it will be eight then we will go all there and we will see the dance of the little babies and tomorrow you should be ready to hear something more sweet past times of krishna hari Pada suatu hari, Sri Krishna bermain dengan
tapi jauh lebih hebat lagi mengalahkan Krishna. Krishna akan terdiam seperti patung menyaksikan kalian sedikit mati rada rani yang sangat indah dan manis. And then the text, the Lord's face dashed of Radhika. Oh, I cannot jump. I cannot sing like you. Sare Gama Padhani Sa. And I said, oh. Thank you, thank you. Jadi Krishna bisa menyanyi dalam lima tingkatan apa nada, tapi kalau Sri Mati Radharani bisa menyanyi dalam tujuh tingkat nada. Jadi dua lebih. Supaya anda nanti mendapatkan karunia menari bersama para gopi dan Sri Mati Radharani dan melayani Sri Mati Radharani dan para gopi. Chant more, and so much affection for Krishna and Radha. The command can cinta kasih yang kasih tak cinta kasih yang dalam life and after death life. Dalam hidup ini dan juga setelah hidup ini, you have not to take but. Again, if you are chanting, remembering. Tetapi tidak akan lahir lagi kalau kita kalau selalu mengucapkan nama suci Krishna dan selalu ingat pada Krishna. Gold Brahman. Gold. Awas, dukun. Amin, amin depannya, amin depannya. Mana sih sesuatu di anda jauh sah? Jo? Yes. Where? Turning Yaduran ini. Yaduran. Thank you. 